munchkins and viewers alike, it's me Munchie and welcome back to a bad cage review. There's going to be reasons why I'm saying it's a bad cage, but thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, you know I am that crazy hamster lady that reviews bad stuff. So today, you are probably familiar with this enclosure I'm about to show you. One, because it is blasted on Amazon right next to the Preview 528 as being like the second best selling hamster cage on Amazon because everybody is gravitating towards it because of its unique design. But I am reviewing this today as something you can easily buy on the US Amazon website. I know I've seen like a, a red and blue version of this and I swear I've seen another color of this, but this one is just basic blue, green, and gray. And I wonder what this may be. <laughs> but this video is not gonna be an unboxing video. This is just a reflection and review. If you own this enclosure, I recommend checking out the Hamster Hideout Forum, just so you are aware there is a really big deal here in the hamster community where we advocate for bigger is better. However, with studies that have come out since the early 2000s, it has been known that hamsters do not do well, no matter what species of hamster Syrian, also known as teddy bear. Dwarf, also known as Campbell's Russian Dwarf, Winter White, Jungarian, Siberian, Hybrid, Roboraskis, and the Chinese. So these species of hamsters do not do well in small confinements. And unfortunately, because it's been embedded in our society to keep them in very small enclosures, people don't understand hamsters and their stress levels. And they are very stress prone. And that's why there is a lot of stress inducing illnesses from hamsters that people are just not aware about because they just don't dive deep inside hamsters before owning a hamster and don't know about hamster care. So this specific cage is bad for good reason. And it is the Midwest Critterville Arcade Cage. You might think, well, why is it so bad? It looks so much fun. Oh my gosh, why don't hamsters love it, Munchie? You will find out here soon enough. I'll display it here for you guys so you can take a look at it. Maybe I should take a look from the side too. You see the side? How fun is that, huh? Very slim up top and very bulgy down below. While we're discussing this cage, let me show you the ad on Amazon right next to the appropriate Preview 528 cage, which is a good square inch and is almost around the same price as this thing behind me. <laughs> For those of you who are not aware, hamsters in the United States need 450 square inches with the United Kingdom's saying 600 square inches is the bare minimum. For me personally, Syrians should be in 600 square inches or more with dwarfs doing completely fine in 450 or more. Midwest Critterville Arcade Hamster Cage. Woo, long name. And this is the same Midwest as the Midwest Guinea Pig Cage and the Midwest Critter Nations and the Ferret Nation. So if you're aware of the Midwest, Midwest created this for hamsters. Oh my. It says here, fun arcade hamster home features a cool multi-level play space to watch your hamster in action. This right here is 18 by 11. It always goes length times width will equal the square inch. So let's just start off with measuring this. Okay, let's just type that into the calculator and it comes out as this bottom pan square inch here. You get 198 square inches. Ooh, that's very small. That is smaller than the old outdated care of 360 square inches, which is a 20 gallon long tank. That tank used to be appropriate, but it isn't anymore, especially for Syrians. Do not put, I repeat, do not put Syrians in there. If it's an emergency, okay, fine. But if it's not an emergency, don't put them in there. This is tiny compared to other cages that is around the same price. Because as you see here, if this was not on sale, which is on sale for $49.99, which is half of a hundred dollar bill, it was $74.99. $74.99 is the exact same price as a Preview 528, which is around 608 square inches. I keep saying preview because we are comparing the two two top tier hamster cages on Amazon. Let me go get out the preview so you're aware. Ta-da, the preview 528. Voila, 74 of sweet, sweet space here. Yep, this is escape proof. I have never had a hamster escape through it. However, some of the doors on some of the previews, since I have, I think five of them, they sometimes will just fall down. They're not so sturdy latching onto here. So you just kind of have to Put it like that, 
A-OK, -okay. very secure. It has handles, it's very light, it's big. And then we have this. Woo, all the excitement for you today because you can add a plethora of toys. Hooray, hooray, but instead you get the small space and if you turn to the side, even smaller space. What do you think you want? Mm -hmm. It's because it's a colorful cage, isn't it? But yeah, I agree. I mean, it's more colorful, more appealing, but that's how they get you. So guys, remember, your small animal should be about them, not about you. You should let your small animal have what is needed. This is not needed when you see a big cage like this. You see that? You see that tiny little base here? Because this is the only base that matters. Up here does not matter at all because it is going towards the sky. They need horizontal floor space, not vertical. So you see that right here? That is all the space it provides. And if we turn it on its side, the difference in size from this side. It is sad when you look at it like this. Comparison photos and videos make a lick of difference. A lick of difference? It's usually a lick of sense, but why would you lick it? I, I don't get it. But now that you guys are aware of the size difference and the price difference between the two top Amazon hamster cage products, I hope you would side with the preview at this point, but let's continue further because there's people out there that would still defend this to the ends of the earth. So next it says hamster home includes free accessories. That's how they get you, free accessory. Hamsters should have more than one height. There is a tiny hide here, but does this tiny hide make it secure for your hamster who is really big or very small? You might say, well, this is a dwarf hamster enclosure. But the majority on Amazon of customers has been Syrian owners, which is unfortunate when you see it in person on reviews. <sighs> That's why it's very traumatizing for me to be looking at some of these reviews sometimes, especially when you see reviews that say that it's killed a hamster. Don't worry, I didn't see anything in this cage review that said that it killed a hamster. There's been cage reviews on Amazon that have stated it killed a hamster and it's just heartbreaking. It says free accessories to get you started because you know, you can expand with so much more. Let's try it here. While I don't have any bedding in here, hopefully you guys can still see me placing these items in there because the naysayers are gonna say this is for dwarfs still. I have brought to you some dwarf accessories that we can place inside of here. Let's try it out, shall we? And I don't have a tunnel in here because technically this is a tunnel for them. Let's just try to get it open. Okay, so the hatch is up here. What a great hatch. Okay, so it's big enough for two hands. All right, that's at least something, but it's not a very big compartment like the other cage that I showed you. Let's put that there. Let's put some. Okay, we got it in, don't worry. No need to panic. Actually, let's try to place this one. Goodness gracious, this is fun. I don't know if you can see me struggle. Let me just get my full body on the bed here. What a great position, isn't it? Place that hide over here, place that a hide over here. We're gonna pretend this is a sand bath for them. But the sand bath, well, we can't put it in front of the nozzle. That would just <laughs> be silly. Yeah, we can place a sand bath right there, especially since the tube's right there. All right, let's put a teeter-totter in. Um, um, that's kind of blocking the entrances. Uh, let's let's put it right, right, no, okay. Mm -hmm. Right there? Okay, we're gonna pretend like that can go there. Food bowl, that's very important. Um, let's see, that's, that's, okay, move, Ugh. Okay, food, food bowl will be squished in right there. And then another thing, Ugh. why? There we go, oh no, that's in front, oh no, they can crawl through it, right? No, that's still blocking. Um, well, you know what, maybe I won't, and that's a problem. When you say maybe I can't fit any more in, that, that's a problem, especially since, let's take a look here, what I have. I have these in here. Seems like a tight fit is what it is, and it is. But if you are going to look at me and say, well, just take this out, just take the sand bath out, just take that hide out, it'll be fine, right? Because we could just put this tiny hide over here, put the food down there, and just, just, just good, right? No, <laughs> 
this is a disaster. Especially since I could put all these small items into the preview and we would still have enormous space to put even more stuff in because they are really driven instinctively to forage. Hamsters are foragers. They travel on average for two to 10 miles. Two to five is usually Syrians and then five to 10 is usually dwarfs, especially Roboroskis because they're the fastest hamster. So you kind of want to get an enclosure that will provide that. But you might be saying, well, Munchie, you got a wheel here and wheel should be in of course, 24 seven. This wheel came with the cage and can only go right here. So wouldn't that be fine? It would be if it wasn't for this design here, as well as the size. The size of the wheel is the problem. But with this here, let's just open it up so you can kind of take a look. This cage, by the way, is very easy to put together. I didn't personally put it together, but I accidentally broke it by dropping it. Well, it wasn't my fault, it was my dog's fault. You see right here, that wheel? It does come a little loose, but the size of the wheel is very concerning. Sure, dwarfs can fit on this, but if Syrians are the main ones being shown in reviews to be running in this wheel, you can see their backs curving. It is so dangerous. People don't understand that hamsters should not curve like that. While their backs can bend like that, just like us humans, we can bend our backs. If you hold it in that position for long, what does it feel like? It feels like you don't want to do that anymore. And that is what it is. It's just, it's straining your back to be doing that. If you are constantly arching like this, and then that causes back pain causes arthritis, it causes a lot of problems to the point where your hamster doesn't want to use this wheel. So it takes out its frustrations on the bars, gets bored, starts getting stressed, and starts biting, and starts wanting out all the time. And it might drive you nuts at night. So, Syrians, they need at least a 10 to 12 inch wheel. Unfortunately, you cannot place a 10 to 12 inch wheel inside of here. And dwarfs, they can do okay on 6.5 to about a nine inch wheel. 10 inch wheels are probably like the top end of it where some dwarfs, if they're really big and they're very heavy, can actually turn a 10 inch wheel. But sometimes the smallest of hamsters struggle to even turn a wheel that big. So this wheel right here, is just six and a half inches. So this would be good for the smallest of dwarfs, which is the Roboroski, but they can get kind of big too. But this wheel is just not appropriate for Syrians. So this is a big no, no, no. And this hide right here, that is a free accessory along with these bridges right here. This opening, yes, a Syrian hamster could get inside of it, but it's not very big to comfortably fit them in, unfortunately. And then if you see the ramps, which I just broke one tiny one, I was gonna say these ramps are big, while the smallest of the ramps are teeny tiny. How is a Syrian, or even a dwarf for that matter, supposed to be walking on these with ease? You just, it's not really possible because look how tiny it is. So you walk down here, you gotta have to push this to the side so they can have room, the tiny room that they have to walk past here. Now the thing with this wheel is that when I put the drawer back on, you see how tiny of a walkway they have? If I put that back on, if you guys are very observant, which I know you guys are, thank you so much. Put this back on, latch it, which these latches unfortunately are very cheap plastic. And so there's been people claiming they have popped off, just so you're aware. And that might be a bad thing because if this thing ever pops open, I mean, everything is exposed. This is a major design flaw of safety. You put the cheapest and smallest part of it, which is the latches. You see how big the latches are? They're the size of my pinky. And you just safely secure over that plastic. Now, if these were to ever break, I don't know how you would be able to secure this other than just putting duct tape all over it. If you can take a look at the bulging part where the wheel is, look at how tiny of a space that hamster has to walk through to even get inside of the wheel. Very disappointing. While it does come with accessories and a wheel, it's best for a new time hamster owner to just buy those things separately because it's a good investment. While Munchy, I mean, this does connect. There is tubes that you can connect them to and that is true. A lot of people, they don't want to connect multiple cages together because already this thing costs about $74.99 if not on sale, which is right now $50. So why would you wanna buy more of them? You guys like collecting, right? And that's probably the whole gimmick of these tubes you can connect to, collect them all. It's just more money being wasted if you 
buy something that you have to constantly connect other things to. And for the amount of size you get, you're losing a bunch of floor space because you're breaking them up. So you can't really fit a big hide in here. Unlike say a big solid cage to begin with, which you could fit a big hide in and my cat wants out for some reason. This is Moxie. Moxie, you are the size of the <laughs> bottom part of this cage. You snuck in here, didn't you? Didn't you? She's, she's a little princess, yeah. You want out? Okay, I gotta go put her out. So let's continue with the rest of it. It says here, Arcade Hamster Home features a deep base. That's a deep base. Are, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Okay, I guess we'll have to measure the base. So it's three and a half inches. I've seen worse. I have, I really have. But three and a half and the bedding could spew over. I mean, you wanna give yourself a little bit of wiggle room so you don't have that issue, but that is very shallow, that's not deep. Hamsters should have, on average, about five inches of bedding so they can make themselves their own burrow. They just push it all to one side, they live in it, they love it. But if you have such a shallow pan such as this, it's not really gonna provide a lot. So, it's not the worst, but it's not deep. A convenient top door for easy access. I wouldn't say it's easy. You saw me struggling earlier, right? What a great position, isn't it? <laughs> so no, it's not convenient and it's not easy. Oh, it says easy access to your pet. Oh, that was not easy at all. What, what are they talking about? And it says, and a removable upper cover for easy cleaning. Now that is very true. You can remove this to get inside, which is more genius than other contraptions where you have to literally disassemble everything to get to the place of which you want to be and want to clean. So I will give it credit for that. Hamster Home is modular in design and includes a connector pieces to fit standard play tubes if you want to connect to another hamster or habitat. But who has money and time for a second one when I've been told just getting one cage is so expensive? It is just as much money to get this as say one video game. So a lot of people in their homes have video games and usually the starting price for a new game is at $60. So technically it's not that expensive if you are a gamer and you collect a bunch of games. The average American does have money. You just gotta understand how to spend it. Midwest Quality Guarantee Hamster cage includes a one-year manufacturer's warranty and simple assembly with no tools required. So yes, it was very simple to assemble. I will give it credit for that, but is it going to be sturdy? I don't think so, especially with the plastic clips up here. That to me just seems like it's a no. So let's scroll down because there's this big section of just Critterville Arcade Hamster Home. Critterville Arcade Hamster Home. The Critterville Arcade Hamster Home is a perfect multi-level hamster habitat. Don't do multi-level guys. Hamsters don't need it. They don't need to be in the sky. They'd rather be on the ground going the distance. This fun and unique cage has everything you need to make your hamster feel at home. Home. Well, it doesn't have a sand bath unless you want to make that a sand bath and go ahead, I guess. Each Critterville arcade comes with an exercise wheel, water bottle, food bowl, circular cubby, and interior play tubes. The easy to clean plastic base is designed to be deep enough to contain messes. No, <laughs> I can tell you that now, no. And give your hamster room to burrow and run. The wire top provides proper ventilation for your pet and allows you to enjoy watching your hamster play. That's another thing. I didn't really talk about ventilation for the top part there is lots and lots of holes and there is slits in the sides here but yes you do have some ventilation but I think that it probably will still get kind of stuffy in there you'll love watching your hamster in action zipping from the lower level up the tube and into the cool multi-level vertical play space your hamster will love exercising on the wheel running on the ramps and relaxing in the elevated circular cubby if you want to add play tubes and connect multiple cages Critterville Arcade comes with a port and connecting rings. The Critterville Arcade Hamster Home was designed to promote fun and interaction between you and your hamster. Actually, I scratched that. It's to provide you with the benefits of having fun for a hamster you think might not otherwise be fun if placed in the appropriate cage. So it does say here in some features and benefits, all the things we just previously talked about and they show pictures and their presentation is good, all right? It is definitely very good. And they also show, by the way, if people are going to tell me that this is a dwarf or a small hamster cage, there is literally a Syrian being advertised with this cage. 
in these photos. All of the things that I'm seeing here, especially with the reviews and people stating that it's been coming apart, that it's not appropriate, I can just back that up with facts. It's not appropriate at all. So as a final note, this is under the square inch of the recommended floor space. As you saw, it's really not that great when it comes to providing what they need. You will need to replace the wheel. You may even need to replace the cage. You will obviously be replacing things inside of here. I don't know if the water bottle works very well. It looks like a standardized water bottle if it's to the outside and the inside of the cage, but you would probably want it to be on the outside so the hamster doesn't climb it. And then you get the little cubby hole here, which of course is provided. It is a hide. And again, when people go to buy hamsters at the pet store, they are going to be buying very young hamsters, or they might accidentally buy a very big hamster, a hamster that's gonna get very big in size when they grow up. I hear that all the time in my rescue where we take in rescues and the owners say, oh, we didn't realize how big it was gonna get. No, you can definitely upgrade for your little one because they do grow, but unfortunately when people first get this and then realize the mistake they made, it's unfortunate that videos such as these and reviews such as the reviews that should be said are not being seen by people before they go and they purchase this. So this is only on Amazon. I have not seen it at mom and pop stores. It would be interesting to see some new enclosures in there, but of course, you know, most of the new enclosures coming out now are the exact same things we've been seeing for decades over the years since the 80s very tiny enclosures that connect. Woohoo! Connect, 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 connect. My review of this is that it sucks. It is way too overpriced. The quality and material, while seems like it's nice and sturdy, plastic is going to be your downfall here. This is not an appropriate enclosure. There's better enclosures out there for a better price. And I hope you guys will understand why I make these review videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. So if you did like today's video, hit like to show support, comment down below with your opinions about this enclosure. What do you think? And or if you need recommendations, just ask and or check out the channel. There should be some really good information on this channel as well as others in the community here. And if you're new here and would like to become a part of our Munchkin family, please subscribe. So thanks guys. And I'll see you in the next review video. Bye-bye.